In today's story, I'll be telling you about a person protecting wildlife as part of a team using the law to prevent illegal trade and poaching. Hello, it's James from the Global Portrait Project, where I'm painting 193 portraits from 193 different countries, with each subject involved in a positive environmental action. And today it's the turn of country number 31, Cameroon. The subject for my portrait for Cameroon is Eric Kabata, Deputy Director and Head of External Relations of the Last Great Ape Organisation. Cameroon is a country lying in the crossroads between West and Central Africa. It is bordered by countries beginning with N, E, G and 3 beginning with C. The primary environmental concerns in Cameroon are pollution, deforestation, overgrazing resulting in erosion, desertification and reduced quality of pasture land, overhunting, poaching and overfishing. Eric grew up in the savanna grass fields of the hilly northwest region in Cameroon. As a child, he never gave a thought about working in conservation, despite his father working as a forest officer. He did, however, always love nature as he would walk with his father through some of the patches of government forest, as it was known then, and feel a sense of quiet tranquility. It was when Eric completed his university course that he realised that perhaps conservation was going to be his destiny. His aunt, a wildlife regional head in the ministry in charge of wildlife in the country, decided to call him up to assist at her office. It was then that he met wildlife and fell in love with conservation. It changed his perspective on things completely and he immediately was deeply moved by what he saw as the destruction and unreasonableness of some Cameroonians to wildlife. Eric has worked all through his conservation career with the last great ape organisation, LAGA, who specifically assists the government of Cameroon in the application of wildlife law. When the project started in 2003, Eric recalls that you could move down the streets of Yonde and see elephant tusks on full display for sale. Despite the existence of a wildlife legislation for over a decade, there were no prosecutions of wildlife crime, despite the glaring existence of illegal trade. When LAGA came into being, and a couple of weeks thereafter, the first prosecutions were carried out. Eric joined the team in the communication department and initially mostly dealt with ensuring the deterrence factor could actually work. Deterrence is at the heart of making law enforcement effective. The team carries out investigations, assists the government with operations and legal procedures right up to court trial. Judgment is made and wildlife law offenders are sent to jail. Eric and the team communicate all of these processes to ensure potential traffickers are put off from getting into the illegal business, as well as letting the general public know that the law has been applied. From the communication department, Eric gradually climbed to management. The impact has been very visible. By enforcing the law, LAGA has been able to put over 700 wildlife traffickers behind bars. This has taken a huge chunk of the people responsible for the killing and trafficking of parts of hundreds of wildlife species out of the game. You no longer overtly see traffickers in Cameroon. The majority have gone underground and life is pretty difficult for them. Many have left or are behind bars, allowing species to try to start recovering. The idea and model has been replicated in several African countries due to the successes recorded and the organisation has won seven international prizes.
If you'd like to find out more about Eric and LAGA, I have put some links in the description below. Final words from Eric are in two parts. The first is that we need to act immediately to stop the current trend of killing and extinction of wildlife species. It matters less about how we do it, whether through education, lobbying or law enforcement, we just need to do it. Secondly, we need to do it fast because we are running out of time. We may have very little time left, but there is still an opportunity to succeed. Wildlife extinction is irreversible. There is nothing as irreversible as extinction. There is more information about this painting and how to get involved with the Global Portrait Project on the website and Instagram page, and the links are in the description below. Next time we'll be meeting someone empowering Indigenous communities across Canada to adopt renewable energy.